Hey guys, I know I haven't done a review in a little while, so I went ahead and did a an older figure review, well, an older technically, um, of Transformers Animated Voyager Class Bulkhead. Um, for some reason, recently he's been growing on me. He's become one of my favorite animated Voyagers. I don't know why, because of all the back kibble and the shortness. And I'm actually for some for some doggone reason. That new animated bulkhead, that the repaint that's going to be coming out, that well, so far it looks like it's going to come out, um, <clears throat> looks pretty good actually uh, for me. That it looks like a maybe a nest repaint, you know, I mean that or the elite guard repaint if you want to put it in animated style. Um, but this is the original one. Now I got this bulkhead at a Kmart along with all my other Wave One animated toys back in April of 2008 last year. Um, because they had a test market in, uh, Ohio, because BotCon was there, um, so, you know, I got a really good chance at that, and I, it was like the second sighting in America. One was a mistake, I don't, I don't think an, an unproved sighting of, of, of them in California, but other than that, it was the first sighting, um, <clears throat> of the animated toys. Uh, so I was really happy. Picked them all up at once. It was over two hundred fifty dollars easy, because you know it was animated Cybertron mode, Megatron, Starscream, Bulkhead, um, and then I had, and then I got um, all the deluxes, like except for Ratchet and Black Arachnia, which I had to pick up at uh, Walmart. But that uh, that Kmart did have them at the same at another point, but another. Trans fan picked him up back then. But off that animated note, um, because I could go on and on about this forever, um, but off that animated note, I'm going to go to some size comparisons. I have uh, Revenge, or not Revenge of the Fallen, but Robots in Disguise Wedge, which is a basic figure, I believe, which they called it back then, uh, who is, you know, pretty pretty small compared to Bulkhead. A newer figure, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Long Haul, which is, you know, just a tad bit bigger. Um, just about the same size and length, but you know, just about length and width, it's just about the same thing. And Henke Red Alert, uh, which is a little shorter. So, uh, pretty cool figure. I really hate the, uh, well, since this was the first figure to do it, they named it after him, the Bulkhead Syndrome. Lugnut got it, and now Blackout has it, the new, the Bulkhead Syndrome of, like, the shortness and all that. But, you know what, it doesn't really bother me, because, you know, they may not be the biggest things, but if they want to make them decent size, they're going to have to make it, like, leader class size. Um, and I'm not paying for, I, I mean, I would, but I would, I don't like, I wouldn't like to pay $40 for Blackout, but I would. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but I would. Uh, but, uh, and, um, not much more I can say about Bulkhead himself. Um, so, you know, let's go ahead and get to the transformation. I'm going to actually show this transformation off. So, <clears throat> what you want to do first is, there's a few different steps, but this is what I, I like to do. You just kind of, I like to get one of my fingers in here and just pull it up, and after a while it'll split, fold the panels down, which I need to paint one of these blue. I need to do this after that, I need to do that after this review. Pull this down, and take the wheels up in the front here tab them out of place and just push them under the car uh, <clears throat> and now what you want to do is just kind of pull that down just a tad bit so that because then they'll bulk his arms will come around and do what that like they did in the show you know boom together hit themselves together and I like to uh, tab them out and just go like that then fold this up together and fold the back piece in and then come around here you could just have him go down like this to kind of block his head or have him all the way up here to look really bad but to be most show accurate you want to be very careful because this does pop these do pop off the joints if you like try to get it from back here and twist it and if you look on my bulkhead there's some stress marks here oh there we go there's some stress marks right there so you want to get it down there and do that and then push it off like that. 
then you can kind of position the legs however you want but you really can't get them in that many positions without bulkhead falling over because he has little short stumpy legs and they don't really end up his wheels being the back support really don't help now let's compare him to one of these shorter voyagers which is revenge of the fallen demolisher which um the heads are just about actually even in place oh it's about even in place and demolisher is just a bit bigger but if you're counting his wheel going all the way up he's pretty tall compared to him but uh there we have it, and um, I'm going to compare him to Revenge of the Fallen, Stout Class Ejector, or the Evil Toaster, as some call him, which he was an evil toaster, so yeah, I know, very accurate, <laughs> but just a little, a little too original. And he only goes up to about his arm, so, because you know it's a Scout Class figure, especially since it's just an evil toaster. But, um, I was going to compare him to the Combiner Superion, but mine kind of fell off my shelf, and it just kind of fell apart, and I need to fix them back up together, so I'm going to do that after this review. Um, but, um, other than that, he's an awesome figure. Um, let's compare him to one other figure with that, with that Syndrome, that the only, well, the only one that I haven't reviewed, the only one that I've reviewed, uh, Lugnut who's just a little bit taller and a little bit less bulky, but I mean he has more bulk on the top compared to Bulkhead, who has just bulk all over the place. Um, and one other thing I forgot to mention in my earlier Bulkhead review. Some people were complaining back when Animated first came out that they named him Bulkhead, and like it was never used before, like it was a completely different name. Well, actually it was used before. Um, it was used back in Transformers Energon. It was the old guy. Um, he, was bul he was named Bulkhead. He was... A helicopter which had like basically like a super mode pretty much um i can't really describe him but um i might have a vi I'm, this might be like a i'm gonna have like a link into the sidebar probably like a video about him um if i don't uh you know i will just give it time um but the fact is that <clears throat> it just to tell you the truth i don't even think it really fits the name I couldn't think of anything else to say, but truthfully, I don't even think it fits the name, but, you know, that's just my dumb opinion, and I really know a bunch of you don't really care. Um, so, you know, everyone's seen his articulation, limited articulation, he's big as heck. Um, so, <laughs> there you have him, Transformers Animated Voyager Bulkhead.